apologize guys, we had a little problem. Sean had to book his flight at the last minute. For some reason, the, the, the okay. ticket didn't go through Kiwi. I uh, have no idea why, so he's literally booking the flight right now, and our flight's gonna leave in like 35 minutes. We still haven't even got past security. We made it out to Makassar last night, pretty late last night. We actually had a delayed flight by an hour and a half, so we got in pretty late, but we are at Makassar right now, which is one of the port cities out in Indonesia. It's actually the fifth largest city in Indonesia. I gotta get my ticket right here. But yeah, we had a quick layover in Makassar. Uh, we actually sit at the IBIS budget hotel, which is in the airport. Super convenient. So what we thought, Sean had a little problem this morning and he had to buy uh, a brand new ticket. <laughs> two tickets. Two tickets, so he bought two tickets. Um, I don't know why they didn't detect his ticket or anything I like that, but. That. Okay, I, I actually can't vlog right now, so let me, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Oh, that was a mess. His bag actually got searched. Oh, travel for you, right? <laughs> but yeah, we're heading to one of the most beautiful and remote locations out in Indonesia. It's funny, not too many people know about it. After I talked to some of the locals, uh, some people that hear about it, they're like, wow, and some of the people are like, whoo, what's that? But this is uh, one of the hidden gems and one of the most beautiful spots. Uh, I think to shoot the drone, we'll see about that, but we had a 90 minute flight last night from Bali to Makassar, which we're here, and now we have an hour flight out to Gorontalo, which is another part of Sulawesi. And now we gotta find our gate, oh my gosh. And we're, and we're already boarding. We made it! We, <laughs> we like just made it, oh my goodness. I am so stoked. Sulawesi to Gorontalo, let's go. And when you didn't think life could get any better, I got a full drone to myself! <laughs> this was the start of a journey to the unknown. There's no better feeling than exploring places that are unexplored. Gorontalo is an Indonesian province on the island of Sulawesi. Historically, it's been the center for the spread of Islam in eastern Indonesia. It has the feel of an overgrown country town where all the locals seem to know each other. We were up for a treat. Oh. Woke up from a little nap after a two hour ride. It was an awesome ride through beautiful jungles and little towns and little villages. We made it to the port finally and we are about to head to Pulo Chinta. Uh, this is, I'm super stoked for this. There's no better feeling than being out in a remote area that not too many people have traveled to. Um, and yeah, there's, there's not many people around here at all, honestly. Hello. Hello. <laughs> We got a little private ferry, private boat to take us there. I think it's about a 20, 25 minute ferry ride and you're at this beautiful secluded little island type Maldives-esque resort like. Oh my gosh, I am so stoked for this. Hey. How's the car ride for you? It was good, long. Long ride? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Two flights, three plane tickets, an overnight hotel that wasn't booked but was. Flight that wasn't booked but was. Charm car ride and now a uh, half hour boat ride and we're almost there. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's, that's travel for you. <laughs> wow, this is so romantic. We got the heart going already. You ready for this romantic trip? Yeah, babe. <laughs> Woo! This is gonna be nice. Oh my god, here it is. Look at all the little wooden villas. Look at the water. Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> oh. Oh my goodness, <laughs> wow, this water is amazing. What's up buddy? Got it. <laughs> Let me grab my bags. So we're gonna be here for the next three nights, four days. Thank you so much Pulo Chinta for hooking us up with this. I am so stoked to be out here. The temperature isn't too hot. I know these huts don't really have AC, but from what I read, what I hear, you don't need AC out here. It's just a cool breeze, a cool temperature out here. And look at that water. I mean like, I think I'm just gonna be in the water the whole time. So I've always wanted to experience some type of like Maldives type resort or island where I'm just sleeping out in the ocean and uh, here it is. Have you ever done anything like this? No, no, yeah. it's new. New? This is uh, quite the experience, quite the, to get in the water. Yeah, I'm so stoked to get in the water. Pulo Chinta is the shape of a heart, so love island, that's what Pulo Chinta means. <laughs> Look at the fish in there. We're gonna catch fish with our bare hands today. <laughs> I'll show you. I'll show you how I do. Just know how to say magasi. So, magasi. <laughs> nice to meet you, Chris. 
see even the locals, people think I'm Balinese and they're like, I say thank you and they're like, oh, are you Indonesian? Yes. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> we are right by the swing. Take it. So this is our villa. Wow, wow, wee, wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. And there's big water too for us. Look at this <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright guys, welcome to our beautiful two-bedroom villa on the water villa here at the Pulo Chinta Resort. I'm super excited for this place, so let me give you guys a quick tour. So right out here before you even walk into the villa, you got a little patio where you can eat, where you can enjoy the view. And let's go right into the villa. To step into the villa, you see that everything is made out of wood, right? So this is an echo resort, so they try to keep it so like low energy, they try to use as little water as possible. Everything's made of wood. This is the living room area. You got some couches right over here. You got a table. You got some waters over here that came with it. You got a little bean bag. And it's kind of cool because they have surround sound and they have speakers all over the villa so we can blast some music. Let me show you the first bedroom. Now right over here, this little bathroom. You want to take a look real quick. This is a bathroom, a little shower head, a little toilet. Pretty simple, pretty nice. Walking right in here to get the first master bedroom. Look at how beautiful it is. So you have these little drapes that you can pull up. And the view, the view now is spectacular. Check it out. You got a couple bean bags, you got a little hammock, and you got Gorontalo. So you got a super king size bed, that's what they call it right over here. You also got another view out there. You have another entrance or exit out over here. Let's go this way real quick. And I'll show you my bedroom real quick. Going this way, you got another bathroom over here, so it's kind of nice. Sean has his own bathroom, I have my own private bathroom. This is great. And it's pretty much the same thing, same style. And then walking right through here, you got my master bedroom. So as you see, it's pretty much the same thing as Sean's. Uh, the view is pretty much the same, which is great. You know why? Because the sunset's right over there. So we get to lay out, we get to watch the sunset. And this is the beautiful second master bedroom. Get a hard angle. Going back this way, it's our second entrance to the master bedroom. And you're back into the living rooms. That was a, sh a shorter property tour. We're here for three nights, four days. I'm super stoked to be out here with my buddy Sean. Thank you so much, Pulo Chinta, for this collaboration. Uh, let's let's get some food and let's get in the water. They're coral fish. Oh my gosh. Colors? Oh yeah, right over there. It's a, I think it's called a coral fish. I'm trying to remember all this. I haven't been scuba diving in a while. Okay. Oh yeah, you're a diver. So I'm this a big is, uh, diver, yeah. If you're a diver, this is a good place for diving. Oh my goodness, there's so- Oh, look how big that starfish is. The orange one. Oh yeah, holy God. All right, first time in the water, let's go. Oh! Good? Yeah, I'm good. Woo, feels so good, oh my goodness. So you do have to kind of be careful. There are sea urchins, from what I read. They might be on the other side of the island, because I don't see any sea urchins around here at all, but you gotta be careful, because they are poisonous. <laughs> We're like giggling like schoolgirls. <laughs> we really are. <laughs> this is amazing. Whoa! There's like jumping. jumping. There's jumping fish. Oh my gosh! I don't have the cameras. Oh shoot! There's so many fish jumping. Oh my gosh! I hope the camera's catching that. Look at this. <laughs> Look, it's hooking. Oh my goodness! It is hooking. How was it? This is amazing air. Oh my god! Let's go eat. My man. Yeah. <laughs> Fish here. Fish, okay. Beef. Beef. Chicken, squid, and vegetables. Wow. A little bit of the ocean and of the yeah. land. I'll take it. <laughs> Yummy. And rice. I love rice. And vintag. And vintag. <laughs> I can't forget that. Pulo Chinta Echo Resort. So everything is run on uh, by solar panels and you know they, the guy told us not to use too much electricity at night not to use too much water just be really scarce with everything that you use Pulo Chinta basically got its name from a sh similar to Shakespeare type story where a prince from Gorontalo ended up escaping Gorontalo with his princess to Pulo Chinta which is kind of like the love island um, amidst all the wars that was happening out in uh, Indonesia so they kind of escaped it they called it the love island and that's that's kind of how it got its name it's kind of like a Romeo and Juliet type story out here just like us <laughs>
then yeah, this is super beautiful out here. You get to just relax out here, enjoy the view. So Pulo Chinta is located among the 23 islands amongst the Tomini Bay surrounding here. So it's absolutely beautiful. It's like a little hidden gem in Gorontalo and in Indonesia in general. And yeah, we're gonna be here for the next three days. Oh my God, the breeze feels really good out here. So I'm like walking in my bedroom and, oh, look at that crab, look at it. Hey, Krabby. <laughs> It's a oh. He's like, oh god, let's fight. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, so it looks like a storm is brewing. When you guys are at a beautiful place like this, what do you got to do before the storm comes? Shoot the drone up. Let's do it. to be for the day. We got a little time lapse going while the storm's coming in right now. Wow, the sky looks beautiful, except for over there. Oh, this is not bad. This is uh, this is the life, dude. Cheers. Cheers, brother. Pirate's life. Oh my god. This view. So we are in the process of heading to dinner right now. <laughs> Try not to fall off. <laughs> uh, wherever you want, yeah. Right here, this works. This is awesome. I got some rice. Looks like some chicken. Oh. Ooh. Wow, this looks really good. Looks really good. So I jumped and did a little swim before dinner time. The water feels absolutely amazing. The high tide has risen, so I was able to just jump off the deck, just jump right into the water. Oh. Time to get a little dinner. Awesome dinner. We're gonna head back to the villa and chill out, watch some movies in the dark. Maybe not the dark. <laughs> So it's kind of cool, there's bioluminescent plankton all over the place. The camera won't see it, but when it's really, really dark, you can actually go out there and you just see them floating in the water. It's pretty cool. I've never experienced bioluminescent uh, plankton. But yeah, I think we're gonna chill in the villa for the rest of the night. I'm gonna get an edit in, and uh, yeah, we're gonna just relax here and just enjoy the villa. The stars are out like crazy, so we're probably gonna stargaze for a little bit and uh, get a little edit in and maybe watch a movie. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog today. There's gonna to be an awesome vlog coming out tomorrow. We're gonna to do a little island hopping here with Pulo Chinta. If you guys like this vlog, hit the like. Welcome to the channel if you guys are brand new. Comment down below if you guys have any questions on Indonesia, travel, Pulo Chinta, or anything in general. If you haven't hit the notification bell, hit that notification bell so you guys are notified of the next vlogs. Thank you guys so much for watching and uh, be on the lookout for the next few vlogs. Thanks a lot, guys.